Last week, I stated in one of my videos that I really wanted to start covering more applications that are used in Linux. Because one of the main comments I generally get for people that are still hugging Windows and pushing Linux away is, it doesn't have the apps. They don't have what I need. Or the apps aren't polished. Or the apps aren't as good as what you can get on Windows. Well, I disagree. I've covered many apps while I've been doing distros. But today, this is the first video, other than OnlyOffice, that I'm going to dedicate to a specific app. And I think it is a great app. That is what we're going to cover today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is brought to you by OnlyOffice. If you want to go to their website, it's OnlyOffice.com. Are you presently running something like a Google Docs or using Microsoft Online? Do you know that all of your emails, photos, and everything they have access to, they can read, they can use for whatever they want? Don't believe me? Go look it up. You don't have that problem with OnlyOffice. It's a secure office and productivity suite. Now, if you scroll down on their website, you've got OnlyOffice Docs, which is collaborative online document editors, you got spreadsheets, documents, presentations, and forms. It's got the highest compatibility with Microsoft Office, easy integration with ready-to-use connectors, and WOPI support and well-documented API. And then you also have OnlyOffice Workspace. Do you have a business? You can run your entire business through OnlyOffice. It's got document, email, CRM, projects, calendar. It's got enhanced security features including private rooms, LDAP and Active Directory authentication, compliance, and international security standards. And speaking of security, let's go over here and let's take a look at the security real quick. It lets you know we provide a comprehensive range of security tools and services keeping your data safe on all fronts. Host solutions on premises, encrypt documents and data, customize access settings, and connect authentication services, and manage access rights to protect yourself from unauthorized access, data leaks, and insider actions. Now let's go back real quick in one of my favorite things I like about it. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and for Linux. If you use Linux, you can get OnlyOffice. It is a great tool. You can also get it on the Google Play Store for your Android phone or at the Apple iTunes Store for your iPhone. So zip on over and check it out. OnlyOffice.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now, let's get to the video. Now, what I want to cover today is something I touched on when I was first going over my install of Storm OS as my new daily driver and a tool that's inside of it that I thought was great and really there's nothing else like it in my opinion that is on Linux today and it's kind of close to the snip and sketch that you get with Windows or Windows 11 but what it is called if you come down here and open up your application menu I'm gonna go ahead and put in flame and it's flame shot so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and once it's clicked if you notice it lets you know hi I'm here, click the icon in the tray to take a screenshot or click with right button to see more options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of this and we're going to zip over to Firefox real quick because I have flameshot.org pulled up and it basically says it's a powerful yet simple to use open source screenshot software and guys it really is powerful and it gives you a lot of different things you can do with a screenshot tool to make it more useful than just taking a picture. You can have in-app screenshot editing simple and intuitive you can upload to online platforms you can make different changes you can change the color of those changes and we're going to look at that here real quick and then if you want to download this you just click on over to the download you've got it for windows mac and linux in linux it is available in an app image you might be able to find it in your package manager but it is available on snap and flat hub as well so what we're going to do real quick is i'm going to go back to their home page and I'm just going to show you some of the things you can do with it. So I'm going to come down here and click on the flame shot icon and it pops up and it basically is asking you right now, what do you want to take a picture of? So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to go ahead and say I wanted to send this to somebody or maybe you're working with a work document or something like that. You just click on it and then you get this great menu that pops up down here. Now when this menu pops up, you have a lot of different options. We're just going to start from the left and work ourselves to the right. First thing I want to bring up is the pencil tool. So let's go ahead and open up the pencil tool. And then if you do that, you can go up here and you can draw lines on it. Maybe you want to circle download or circle something in a document that you want pointed out. If you make a mistake, just come over here to the undo button 
and you can get rid of those. Now, if you right click on the pencil, it brings this up and you can actually change the color gradient of the pencil. So let's go ahead and make it blue and we will close on that. And now you can actually change your pencil to blue and do any kind of markings or you know specific things you want to do inside a picture or a document. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And then if you click on pencil again, it turns it off. Your next option is straight line. Now you can pick that. And as before, if you right click on it, you can change the color of the straight line tool. Let's make this one yellow and we will close out of that. And let's say you wanted to underline a word in a document or you wanted to underline something in a picture, you just drag it, click, and you've got straight line. So we've underlined that. Well, let's say we want to point out a specific thing. We want to emphasize what we're trying to get across. So we can go down here, shut that off, go to arrow, come right up here, just drag a certain direction. Let me undo that because I started too far away. Let's start out here towards what we want to point at and drag and drop. And then that way you can add that arrow to a specific part of your document or picture. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Let's shut the arrow off. And then we're going to open up the box. Let's say we wanted to put a box around something. You can just box that in and there you go. It's done. And then over here, you can pick that one. And if you wanted to box something in and just completely wipe it out or edit something in a document, as in cover it up because you don't want nobody to see it, there you go. Let's say you've taken a screenshot of somebody that sent a comment to you or sent a text to you and you want to share it with somebody, but you don't want to let them know who sent it to you or whatever reason you might want to use it this hides that for you so let's shut that off and then of course it looks like you got a circle tool so i bet if we go up here let's say we want to put a circle around this picture there you go you've got a circle around a picture like i said there's so many different things you can do with this it's much more than a screenshot editor it is a great tool it's something that you can use on a daily basis especially if you're somebody that does a lot of uh, multitasking with other people on a job or if you just have friends that are involved in a group on Facebook or something like that and you're working back and forth this is a great tool to do that so let's go ahead and uncheck that and this right here I haven't actually looked at yet is this a paintbrush of some kind let's change the color and see if it is let's go over here let's pick blue and we will close and we will go up here on top of the yellow so yellow and blue make green. So I could put that there. So it's kind of another way to... Hi okay, that's a highlighter. Okay, see guys? I learn something new every time I use this tool. So I've just highlighted that in blue. If it was yellow, it would probably look a lot better. Let's go down here, right click. Let's make it yellow and close. And let's say we're going to highlight software. Yep, you can highlight it. So that's pretty impressive. I like that. Okay, let's stop that. Let's go over here to text. And what do I have the color set on for text? Let's go ahead and right click. Let's go ahead and pick yellow for text. Close. Let's just go right here and say test flame shot. There you go. You've added a text to your screenshot. We can turn that off. And what is this right here? This is a circle. Okay, so you could go through and it numbers them. One. Two. So if you're wanting to express bullet points in a document or express different parts of a picture, you can come in here and do that real quickly. And it numbers them. One, two, three. Simple source software. One, two, three. So that's pretty interesting. I like that. Now, what do we have over here? Let's turn that off. So this is a marker, rectangular selection. Set pixelate as the paint tool. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to concern myself with that. What do we have here? Set inverter as the paint tool. So I guess you can invert. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to read up on both of those. And what is this? Okay, is this where you can actually resize your screenshot? Yes, this is where you can resize your screenshot as you're going. So you go over here, you pick that. Let's say you wanted to bring this in a little bit and you wanted to include something a little bit more below it you could pull that down and then you've just adjusted your screenshot before you've actually saved it so i'm going to go ahead and shut that off and then of course you have undo redo then right here you can copy this selection to a clipboard if you want so you can share it easily you can also save it as is 
if you want to, or you can close out of it. So let's go ahead and click Save. And we're going to save this as Test Patron Flame Shot. And we will save that to Pictures. And then when you come down here to your folder and your pictures open up, let's go over here and click. So we should be able to open that. And as you can see, I have GIMP set up as my image viewer, and it opens up right there. Everything is saved right where we left it. It's a great tool, guys. I'm telling you, if you haven't checked it out, zip on over and download FlameShot. It is very powerful. It is very awesome to work with. It's one of the joys that I like with using StormOS as it already comes with it. Let's go ahead and close out of this. If you get a chance, zip by the Ebo Central store, take a look around. If you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up. If there's something you would like to see on the store that's not there, please drop us a line below and we'll be more than happy to try to get it up there for you. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the content we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.